guys. Happy Friday. Um, I got another message. Um, yes, the Lord's very angry. Um, and more of stuff to come. Um, so anyway, but before I do that, let me give you some good news. I think anyway, um, someone asked me in the comments the other day, do animals go to heaven? And I'm such a fur baby person. Like I love my fur animals. I got two dogs. I had one other one, but had to put them down a couple months ago for the holidays. Um, but anyway, so I found, uh, Clasiastis, I can never say that word, Ecclesia, anyway, you know what I mean, um, 318 through 322, and I was listening to it, and all of a sudden, it, like, stuck out, so that was so cool, like, I've been praying about this, because it's important to me, so if you're listening, whoever made this comment, he gave me this, 318 through 322, um, I also thought about the human condition, how God proves to people that they are like animals. For people and animals share the same fate, both breathe and both must die, so people have no real advantage over the animals. How meaningless. Both go to the same place. They came from dust and returned to dust. For who can prove that the human spirit it goes up and the spirit of animals goes down into the earth? So I saw there's nothing better for people than to be happy in their work. That is our lot in life, and no one can bring us back to see what happens after we die. So it doesn't exactly say, but I feel like... God is so good and he's so loving. I feel like they'll have to be fur babies in heaven. I mean, come on, everyone loves their fur babies. So so that gives me hope, that verse. <clears throat> also, I wanted to say before I say the message, I think someone just said today I was um, of the devil, which was very mean. But um, they're saying that because of the revelation thing that I had um, about the rapture. So first of all, I never said it was the third seal. I said the Lord gave me a couple signs. He said, when the wage reaches the highest peak, we will go up. Now, I don't know what that means. Somebody commented today that it could mean the wage of sin and death where a lot of people die and then we go up. I don't know. I do know in my previous messages, he said we would be in perfect peace, his elect, his chosen ones, and um, we would go up. So when, I don't know, he said, look at the moon and the stars and you will know when I'm coming. So that might be like a calendar thing. And then he gave me Revelation 4, 1 through 3. Because John is walking in spirit. And right before John's walking in spirit, he hears the trumpet and Jesus says, come up here. So if that's how it's going to go down, I don't know. He hasn't revealed that to me. He just gave me those things. So someone had mentioned that I was of the devil because um, I had said it was a third seal. But I never said it was a third seal. Now, it could be the third seal because that's like the denarius where... The bread gets really expensive. Um, so that could be what he means. I don't know what he means yet. He hasn't revealed that to me yet, but I'll keep praying on it. Anyway, here's the message. He started with Revelation 4.11. You are worthy, O Lord, our God, to receive glory and honor and power. For you created all things and they exist because you created what you please. Ezekiel 3.17. Son of man, I have appointed you as a watchman for Israel. Whenever you receive a message from me, warn people immediately. Ezekiel 3.19, if you warn them and they refuse to repent and keep on sinning, they will die in their sins, but you will have saved yourself because you obeyed me. Revelation 9.14, then the fifth angel blew his trumpet and I saw a star that had fallen to earth from the sky and he was given the key to the shaft of the bottomless pit. Now, before I get into the message, if you're just new on my channel, I don't know scriptures, guys, so he gives me these messages. And then he gives me scriptures and I write everything down and then I go look them up. And a lot of times I'm blown away by what I get. And you'll see why. Wormwood will fall and the sea will turn to blood. And he just gave me that scripture. It's so weird. The water will be bitter and many will die. The angels will pour out their bowls. The end is coming. My word is true. Everything I have written shall come to pass. You will see the horses. The ones who didn't believe in me will see my words are true. The floods in the cities will pour over the walls. My hour is coming. Time is almost up. Repent, bow down, and worship me. Stop worshiping Baal and come to me. I will forgive you. New York City will be destroyed. Buildings will crash down. Fire will spread through the city, and I won't hear you. I am the one true and only Messiah. I have not come yet, but I will come soon like a thief in the night for all who are not watching for me. I gave you so many signs, so many warnings, warnings. 
Get your boat ready. You will hear the trumpet soon. Okay, and then this is Daniel 3.12. But there are some Jews, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, whom you have put in charge of the province of Babylon. They pay no attention to your majesty, refuse to serve your gods, and do not worship the gold statue you have set up. Daniel 4.19. Upon hearing this, Daniel, also known as Belshazzar, was overcome for a time, frightened by the meaning of the dream. Then the king said to him, Belshazzar, don't be alarmed by the dream and what it means. Belshazzar replied, I wish the events foreshadowed in this dream would happen to your enemies, my lord, and not you. Anyway, sorry if I mispronounced that. Ezekiel 3.21. But if you warn righteous people not to sin and they listen to you and do not sin, they will live and you will have saved yourself too. Revelation 19.15. From his mouth came as sharp a sharp sword to strike to I cannot talk tonight to strike down the nations he will rule them with an iron rod he will release the fierce wrath of god the almighty like juice flowing from a wine press ezekiel 121 when the beans move the wheels move when the beans stop the wheels stop when the beans flew upward the wheels rose up for the spirit of the living beans was in the wheels i don't know what some of this stuff means maybe you guys do but Matthew 3.11, I baptize with water those who repent of their sins and turn to God, but someone is coming soon who is greater than I am, so much greater that I'm not worthy even to be a slave and carry his sandals. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and with the fire. Okay, is that it? That might be it. Nope, I think I have. Yep, one more. First John 2.16, for the world offers only a craving for physical pleasure, a craving for everything we see and pride in our achievements and possessions. Those, these are not from the Father, but one from this world. Acts 2.14 Then Peter stepped forward with the eleven other apostles and shouted to the crowd, Listen carefully, all of you fellow Jews and residents of Jerusalem. Make no mistake. All right, guys. So that's the message and all the scriptures. Um, someone did ask me if I could put all the scriptures in the, in the comment. <laughs> I'll try. That's a lot of scriptures, guys. He doesn't just give me like one or two. He gives me like eleven sometimes. So it's... It's a lot of time, <laughs> but I'll try. If not, you can email me um, and or t you know message me and stuff, and I can send them to you in the email or whatever. But um, anyway, well, you guys have a good night. And guys, if you don't know Jesus, I don't know what soon means to Jesus, but I can feel it in my spirit that is very urgent. And most of the other Christians out there that are walking in Christ.